everyone and welcome back to Zudesia and this is actually another little snippet of a side quest I am working on before we go on our grand adventure with Sunflower. So it's a little bit out of order from the episode that was released earlier today but that's because I'm so excited I just can't wait any longer. I found my missing Geishals! I found my golden Geishals! The four golden Geishals that I knew I had somewhere. They were actually hiding inside of my market day like my market day chest and I remember putting them in there and going oh I'll put them here because this is more accessible than the chest that I normally keep them in in my bedroom and I totally forgot I put them there but that means we've got two more attempts at getting that golden guy she'll check for Mara and I was actually just swinging back here to pick up some cobblestone so that we could decorate the new golden guy or the new guy field that we just built so let me see I know I have Lily and Iris following me Lily Iris oh, Iris loves the aquarium downstairs I always find her down there and this is usually the result of finding her down there. Iris! Iris, darling! Darling! I wish that we could put Iris, like, give that heart to Iris. I don't know what she does. She, like, gets stuck downstairs somehow and shows up again. Totally. Oh, <laughs> it was raining a second ago, so it looks like Tate caught me a fish. Iris, sweetie, you come over and you rest in this dog bed for a while. Oh, she's feeling better already. No, you stay here and you rest up. Let me go ahead and get you some dog food, some cooked pork chops. I have no idea where Lily ran off to, so I'm just going to have to wait for her to follow me. And hello, Pigu. This pig is determined, 100% determined, to be, like, in the dog pen. I have removed it so many times. Oh, Persephone! Hi, sweetie! And she meowed at us, so it's only polite to say hello. And then, uh, let's see... Lily should be following. There you are, Lily. I knew you were going to follow me. I knew you were going to realize that mom was going bye-bye and want to come join in on the fun. So we're going to go try to breed those chocobo. Yeah, good. I closed it. But we're going to go try to breed those chocobo and get Mara, her golden geishal chick, and then we can take to the skies together. And that would be so much fun. I love flying with my friends because we can cover so much more ground and we can discover so many more amazing things about this world. So here's where we used to have the path that would lead straight over into the village. Uh kind of you sort of had to jump across a whole bunch of things there's the poetry tree oh it looks so good from here oh that was a wonderful gift from joe but yeah so you pop through here you go through our little arch and what we're going to do is we're going to build a bridge that'll span across to that point i think or maybe over there i can't decide uh maybe it'll go two directions who knows i think we'll make it go um there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll make the bridge go there. But I came down here and I planted a whole bunch more geishals in this little area, which will be a lot of fun to investigate. But I had to go back so I could get the chisel and get the... No! I grabbed the wrong stone! Are you kidding me? Oh, I needed normal, I needed normal stone all along. I had no idea. At least I've got 18. So I needed... I need stone to make these small disordered stone bricks and they are what is going to line all the sides of ah, there we go there we go yeah they're what's going to line the sides of the geishal fields and make them look all nice and pretty and give us the ability like I need to turn this into a carpenter's fence there we go See, don't they look so nice when you do it like that? And it just makes it look like a nice professional little geishal field. So let me just go ahead and finish putting down the last of these. And then we're going to go see if we can breed up those, those chocobo again. They just recently bred because it hasn't been very long since I was just over there. Oops, no, 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 chocobo. Little chocobo food. There we go. All right, come on, Lily. Let's check for... Oops, ah, dang it, I smushed it. You have to be so careful with these things because it's very easy to accidentally smush while you're walking around. They're, they're kind of delicate tubers, to be honest. Normally, the tubers I know, like potatoes, they're not so delicate, but these ones, these ones are pretty darn delicate. There we go. Yeah, we just bred up a black chocobo chick because it, uh, it was born from a white mother and a black father and that's when you can get the opportunity for a golden chocobo to be born there we go 
I'm really hoping we'll get some more golden ones soon. Oh, they're really starting to pop up like little daisies, actually. That's pretty exciting. All right, there's that. And there's one over there. And one over here. <laughs> you just run around, like, crossing your fingers that you're going to get that lucky, lucky plant. And we didn't this time. But let's pop over, and we're going to try to breed our chocobo again. And thankfully, we have so many white and black chocobos now that we should be able to have a fair chance... Let's see, here's a lovely lady. Here's a handsome guy. We just bred that handsome guy, I think. So let's move this lovely lady over next to this handsome guy. Good luck, guys. Oh, uh, he just bred Fudge Knuckles. Uh, dude, did you really just make me waste a golden one? I thought we bred the other ones. Here, oh, here's a male. Oh, good. It's a white baby chick! Okay, so that didn't work, but thankfully... Whew, oh my gosh, they're so noisy sometimes. But thankfully we do have other chocobo to pick from. So let's see... What about this guy? Are you, are you in the mood? Are you in the mood to try having some babies? Let's bring you over to all of these lovely ladies. Are you in the mood, sir? No, he's not. We must have just bred him, too. I guess we needed more black chocobo. Oh, oh, there's another white male. Right. Ah, we must have just bred that female too. Dang it! So now we have to wait a little bit so that they get back into the mood uh, for breeding. And it takes a little while for them to get back into breeding cycle. <laughs> That's why I have to say that. I need food. Luckily I have a cranberry bar. So we're so close. We are potentially holding Mara's golden chocobo baby in our hands through, through these golden geishals. But we have to wait until these guys are ready to breed again. Uh, and what we can do while we wait, clear this area out and make it into a nice little park zone. Because I've been thinking it would make a perfect park leading out from the Village of Light. So that it's just a good little rest stop in between the Village of Light and our home. And where you can come and sit and watch the ducks and not feed the ducks. In fact, I'm going to put up a sign. Please do not feed ducks bread. It is bad for them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like literally put up a sign so that people know don't feed ducks bread. Uh, I, I'm sure I have a sign. I have a sign somewhere. I have a sign right here. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's see. Ranger Rise, I'm going to make you so happy. I'm going to put a sign right here, and it's going to say, uh, like this, please, do not feed the ducks bread. In fact, we're going to put, like, bread with, like, no, we'll just do it like that because it looks nice and official. Please do not feed the ducks bread. Wonderful. What do you think of that, Rise? Oh, yeah. He's excited. He's like, this is going to protect my ducks. He knows it. All right, so let's pop over here. And I will start, we'll, we'll clear out, like, some of these. Oh, i got to tuck those, those little ones safely away. I can't believe I brought the wrong cobblestone, too, or brought the wrong stone for expanding that, too. That's very embarrassing. But let's go ahead, and we're going to clear this area out. I've actually always admired these fuchsias. And they would make a perfect decorative touch to go around the stall that I want to build that's going to sell geishal pickles and geishal cake and pink geishals and red geishals. So we'll have to do that. Let's see, gather these up. There we go. And let's clear out all this grass. Let's see if there's any cool little plant matter hiding in here. So let's get all this out of the way. I'm going to just put on my gear so it's out of the way. Uh, let's see. There's the fish tape gave me. There's the chocobo feathers. I'm going to keep those, actually. And Darling's giving me so many hearts lately. I'm so loved. It's so wonderful. Put all these tools away. I'm keeping my sword out, though. Keeping all that out. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's clear away all this grass. Lots of moss. I guess the area doesn't get enough sunlight, so we should probably clear this birch tree out of here. Ah, there we go. I kind of want to plant some jerkata trees around here. Jerkata trees seem like a good part to go next to some ducks. Bir this is a birchwood forest though, so we do need to respect that. Let's clear the moss out here. All right. There we go. What, what was that? Let's see. That was a garlic seed. So wild garlic must grow in this area. Kind of like you can find the wild onions that pop up in everyone's yard. So those really pretty little nice smelling um, little grass pieces, the, the green grass pieces that pop up in everybody's yards. There we go. There's that. Good. All right, so we've cleared this area out, and I'm debating if we should take out 
the <laughs> these two. I've always thought that the mango and the dragon fruit tree, while being really cool, have never really fit in over here. So I'm kind of, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're going to take these guys out with a heavy heart, but we are going to take them out. And also we should clear away all of this random grass. So let's clear this away. Ooh, can I tidy up the yard? It looks like someone smacked the ground with some bone meal. Hmm. There we go. I do like these bushes. But this is going to be one of the main things that people see when they come to my zoo. So I'm going to need to put down some proper plants of some kind that look really nice. Hmm. The moss could actually go, like, over here. Because that's a wetlands area with the ducks and everything. So let's sprinkle more moss in. I should really just go around and get in there. Um, but actually, that reminds me, we need to decorate. Oh, those blazing stars would be a nice decorative touch. All right, Lily, you think it's time? Let's go ahead and we're going to check. Let's gather these up and more of these. Back, let's make all of them. Golden. Ah, oh, dang it, not a golden. Golden? Not a golden. Golden? <gasps> There's a golden one, yes! All right, we need one more because we need two for every breeding attempt. Oh, this is so exciting. I love doing things to help my friends and family. That's probably why I love teaching you guys about the natural world. I love, like, this planet. It's just so beautiful to me. It's so amazing. And what better way to try to help it out than teaching people why it's so cool? Like, my moss is so cool. Moss is just, it's beautiful. It holds in humidity and moisture very well, too. So you can often find, at least around here, little newts hiding inside of the moss or under it. And that's very important because they have very, uh, very fragile skin. A lot of amphibians. They don't have lungs big enough to support their bodily needs for oxygen. So we're talking about amphibians like frogs, salamanders, things like that. And so the way that those creatures get enough of what they need to survive in terms of oxygen... All right, Lily, if you manage to make it down there without breaking it... I did it. ...is that they breathe through their skin. They don't just breathe through their lungs, but they have open pores in their skin that lets them breathe. And that means that they're also very prone to drying out. And that's why it's very, very important for any, any creatures that are amphibians to stay moist. And if you raise frogs, you have to keep the humidity very, very high in the frog enclosure. And so moss is really great at that. I actually have a bunch of moss all over the ground of my crested gecko enclosure because my crested geckos also need high humidity uh, in order to shed properly. They're not amphibians, but they are reptiles. And so they need to shed their skin. <gasps> we did it! We got four! Yes! They need to shed their skin, so it's very important for humidity. And that moss is really great at holding in humidity. So that's why moss is awesome. To me, the more you teach people about the natural world, the more you realize how amazing it is. And I really need to start selling some of these chocobo. There needs to be like a trader in town who mans a chocobo cart or something. All right, so let's see. Here's a lovely hen. She's not in the mood. Is this lovely, lovely rooster in the mood? He's not in the mood either. Um, here's a lovely rooster, not in the mood. Lovely hen, not in the mood. You guys, you're making this really hard. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to actually sit and watch the geishals grow for a little bit and think about what trees I want to replace these trees with whilst we wait. Uh, while we wait for those guys to get back in the mood for breeding. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we have expanded the geishal fields, and I really like how they look. Aren't they so cute? I wish we could expand them a little bit further, but the bridge is going to go across here, and I think this is okay. If I really get in the mood, we might knock that half down and keep going with the geishal fields. But good news, while we were waiting for the chocobo to be ready for breeding again, I found one more golden geishal. So we're getting a little bit closer. Is there one here? No. I get so excited hoping that this is going to be another golden one. <gasps> These guys just popped up. Ah, but it, there's no golden guy shell. Okay. What about you? No. And I also put down uh, the stairs because you have to be very, very gentle as you walk through the geishal area or else you really will like jump on them and destroy the fragile ground. They're just very, very fragile tubers. You've got to be respect. I need another stairs over here. I didn't notice that I only put stairs on one side. All right, we'll have to put more stairs in on both sides. 
still only no no new golden geishel. Normally I let the field grow completely rather than take them one by one like this because it just like puts you on edge. You're like, could this be it? Could this be it? And you just zigzag run around in circles trying and hoping that this is the next golden geishel. But no sign of it. So let's go ahead. We're going to climb down here. There we go. And let us drop off uh, the ones we don't need in here. And the feathers. Out here, feathers. And let's come over here and see if the chocobo are in the mood for breeding again. All right, here's a female hen. Let's take her over to, there's a white male. All right, let's put you right there. So let's try out this pair. All right, and it's a white baby. So we've got one more chance. So let's try with this handsome guy. He's not ready actually, he's not in the mood, dang it. Ah, oh, they're so finicky. I guess we've only got like, let's see. So we just bred that one. What about, and you're not ready. Oh, I waited like 20 minutes. That should be long enough. Is that the only other black one we have? I think there's one more. Why are there two zebra in here now? I swear I just removed zebra. Dang it. <laughs> I thought for sure we would have it this time. I thought for sure we'd be able to, we'd be able to make this work. Are you too young? Are you not tame? Oh! I wonder if he won't do it because he's not tame to me. There we go. Alright, so he's tamed. And she's tamed. Maybe we just bred those two, but alright, let's try. There! They had to be tamed! That was it all along! And they just had the golden baby! Yes! So now we have the new golden baby! We have Mara's chick! Mara's little chick! Oh my gosh, and it's got like a mommy pig watching over it. That's hilarious. So here it is. The tiny little golden chocobo baby. Lily, are you sniffing it? Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Are you so cute? Let me see those little blue peepers again. Let me see them. Come on, baby. Come on. Can I see your little blue peepers? He's like, no, I'm shy. There's a big chocobo. Oh, I saw that little eyes for a second. Come on, one last time. All right, let's tame it so that we've got it under control. There we go. I can't believe it. We did it. Oh, that that was that was wonderful. It's a good thing we had so many extra geishals to try out with. Oh, look how cute it is. It's just a tiny little baby. Teensy little baby stuck next to a pig. Let's scooch it into... I want to like take a nice little picture of it amongst the flowers over here. And all the other chocobo. Are you so cute? Whoa! Alright, hang on. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, the cute little baby. Alright, let's find out if it's a boy or girl. So let's go grab a chocopedia. But we've done it, you guys! We have brought up another golden chocobo! I am so excited! They're really tricky to breed, as you could tell. It took me hours and hours. Well, maybe an hour, because <laughs> I had materials already. To get the whole flow going. Oh, and here's this little baby! Hey, 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 yeah, there's a little taming. This is Jinx. He is a boy. Now, Mara's chocobo... Locke is a boy, so she can rename it whatever she wants, and when he grows up nice and big, I'll bring Amara over here, and we will introduce her to her new chocobo. Phew, well, that was exciting, and that's done, and we have much larger geishal fields now, so it should be easier to get those rare golden geishals, and get more babies, and we've started clearing the area out so I can put in a geishal stand, so I would say that this has been a wonderful, successful little side quest. I cannot wait to take to the skies with my friend Mara and even hold flying chocobo races. And I'm definitely going to have to keep working over here because we may or may not have other people coming soon who will need access to some flying chocobo lily. Mm.